check this one out. Let me show you what's going on. It's a good one. You can see Kobe. Even cooler. It has an autograph on it. Good looking design. And I just had, there's just a couple structural issues on it. If you guys can see like the foil up there. Let me turn it this way. And ouch, I got hit. I hit back there pretty good too. So let me tell you, like, when you see something like this, you don't have to think all or nothing, you know, like, meaning, uh, can I fix everything? So, like, I'll tell you guys, foil, whenever you have a, a stretch in the plastic and, and it's in foil, it's really hard to get foil to, like, go back to, like, that type of flat right there where it's, like, never had anything happen to it. But, as you can see, it's bumped up. So, like, even if you can just get the card flat... It'll probably take a little bit of that look out. But yes, will it remain a little bit? Sure. Probably. Likely. These, they're like on the uh, corner, you know, on the edge. And then we don't have foil back there. And I looked at these closely under magnification. And it appears that we have the surface there. So my strategy, guys, is because I'll probably be quiet while I'm working on this to a degree. I'm going to use moisture, a little bit of card spray, and these areas to soften up this paper plastic mix and just try to my best to look at this as like a little puzzle and just like uh, get everything back in place. So it's just kind of how I go after things. I'll just get, always get a game plan and then just think about, all right, how do I, how do I try to make this work? You know, so first I think I want to work just do some basic stuff on the front just to get this card flat. I don't want to keep the card face down with a bump right there because that will be the first thing that touches anything. And that means it can wear, you can get a wear spot or whatever pretty easy, all right? So let's just zoom out. I'm gonna do, get situated here. I'm gonna use the card tool and just, just kind of feel what I'm working with. I'm not going in here right now with like uh, any sort of pressure or plan. I want to, it's almost like you're feeling it out. You just want to know what the heck you're dealing with. So I can feel the bump, I can feel the ridge. I don't want to just smash it down because I think that could cause more. Don't ever do anything quick really i can't think of anything that's like really you're supposed to be maybe if you're removing a little bit of fuzz on the edges or whatever you can move quicker but nothing should be forceful and this is the part where i always like to prove myself wrong if i can but this was the part where i thought probably won't be the most improvement. I know it's on the front. I know we want the most improvement there, but what I just did was just get it a little bit more flat. It's still, it's still an issue, but I just wanted to bring it down a little bit so we can work on these a little bit. <clears throat> I'm gonna use a tortillon with a sharp tip. Card spray. Um, there's two things here. Don't try to do both at once. You could learn something from the first one, or that you could apply to the second one, or sometimes it's just like cooking two steaks at once. It can be done, but it's a little bit more easy to work on one at a time. You guys see that? <laughs> that was, that was sweet. All right. Now we're down to, down to like that one. 
All right, do that again, dude. Do that again. This one's packed in, so it's a little bit tougher. Okay. Okay, we are doing this right. So this is gonna take a couple steps. I did not expect it to go this quick. I'll take it. Just do a little bit of moisture. Notice I'm using, uh, I'm sliding the entire sleeve with it, and we're just using, I'm just looking through my tubing there, because I like to see, I like to see the footprint it makes with the pressure, I'm, I'm at, and pressure I'm meaning like next to none here. All right, we're looking good. We're going in the right direction. So once you get to this point, don't touch it anymore. See how it's still got moisture in there and that's why it looks a little wonky. But check it out. Here's what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look like product like that because it's gonna dry and it's gonna tighten up. I don't like, I still don't like this. Let me show you. There's like a dent. I swear I got like the crazy lights, but sometimes it just still gets tricky for me to show you. That. That right there. So I'm gonna get my card comfortable because I don't wanna try to hold my card and put moisture on it. Actually, I don't wanna do it that way. Let's do it. Okay, and just as a little extra layer of protection, I'm gonna put my finger right there so when I touch the card, it don't go anywhere. And I just wanna transfer. A little touch of moisture, just like I did. Let's see if I can show you. Fun part of filming this while doing it. But I gotta show you guys how to do it. That's all the moisture I'm, I need in there right now. All right, so let's take a step back. So we put a tiny bit of moisture card spray. This is what I'm using, you guys. So that's 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 my stuff. Um, since we did just touch this spot, my my most concern area where most concerned me. I don't think I'm gonna get the biggest turnaround. I'm still gonna try to gently pull this thing out because. I've counted myself out before, and what's the point of doing that before trying? And I also sometimes use the tip of the tortillon on little areas like this, because you can just draw over them, like, so you can combo it with the, 
the card tool. Your finger's good too. It's always good to go in there and just feel it. Like if it feels like it's on a plane, all flat, you're like, all right, I'm going in the right direction. And we are going in the right direction. Check that out, you guys. Yes, can I still see that little annoyance there? But God, isn't that better than what it was? Still in there a little bit, but geez, you guys, it hasn't even dried yet. Take a look at the back. I'm just a little puffy because it's wet. All right, here's here's what you do. Got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. And we're going to hold them right now. So let's do this. We're going to put the card. I actually want to do something different. And thanks for, uh, for watching, you guys, as usual. I hope this is helpful for you. This is me doing everything... Uh, holding the card in the left hand, doing everything here at the right. So I don't want the moisture particularly to dry like super duper quick. <clears throat> so I'm gonna let it um, sit between a couple plates. And before we do that, I wanna bring your attention to one more issue that I see. I see a little bit of a uh, little indent there. So let's do the normal. Let's do a little spray. And um, unfortunately, guys, I can't teach you how to get those those dimples out of plastic cards. But when you get a paper surface like this, just, uh, just the right amount of spray, just a little touch of it will usually get that stuff to get out of there for you. And it moves pretty quick. Paper cards like this are delicate, of course, but that makes them a little bit easier to fix and rehab and you know, bring back to life. I feel like I owe it to Kobe to make his cards look the best they can because like, I feel like Kobe has done so much for me and I've never even met the guy. Just reading, spend 10 minutes reading some like Kobe quotes and then you'll be like, yeah, thanks dude. Thanks for talking about how hard work and not talking about just, you know, the results, but the process and the mindset. Like, I'm a big fan of strong humans, and uh, Kobe Bryant was a strong human. So strong that his word lives on every day. You know, so for that, I thank him. All right, we're going to let that sit, because you can still see it's a little puffy, but don't let that bother you. That's fine. I can still, of course, see a little bit of stuff there. But man, talk about uh, looking way better already. Let's just let this hang, let's let, let's let this one hang out. I get so excited talking about my cards. So I'm gonna, here's, here's the why. I'm putting it between the plates because I want it to just rest. I'm putting um, large sleeves on the top and bottom to protect the card and to let this little remaining moisture in there and in there dry slowly. I am going to push just with my finger a little bit on this area up here that we worked on just to, I was doing everything manually by hand before, right? So now when we have plates like this, I can just push over here a little bit and it will give even pressure along this whole edge. See what I'm saying? So now I have an even weight distribution across that whole edge. And I'm gonna hold it just for like 10 seconds. I wasn't joking. I'm literally gonna hold it for like 10 seconds. All right, and then that's all I wanna do because I don't wanna put any sort of um, you don't want to put a weird amount of pressure on a card when there's moisture in it. So like the clamps like we're using right now 
or not, I'm not, sorry, not the clamps, rewind. The plates that we're using right now. This is safe. This is all I ever would suggest putting on a card while you're letting it dry. If you start clipping it, you'll get shiny, weird spots and stuff like that. You can totally clip a card or retain it flat. Like if it's, if you just got done working on a corner or an edge or something, just with the tool and no moisture. Like if you get a card in shape, you can, you can hold it, you know, but um, until then just, you know, let it, let it chill like this. All right. I know I threw a lot of info at you guys. Thanks for watching this far along. I'm going to press pause, let this hang out and we're going to pick it up and wrap it up. I so much appreciate your patience guys. I know this was a longer one, but um, it really gives me the opportunity to kind of like explain it and unpack it a little bit. And it's like knowing what to do with your hands is really important, but like really making a game plan is really um, about five times more important, you know, because uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you can make a mistake, you know, and I don't want you guys to, I want to see improvements, you know. So like, let me show you what we did here. I'm excited about this one because it was pretty minimal, but it was like a big difference. And, uh, you know, before we took a break, I think it was pretty clear to see. So let's just, it all came back together. Let's just take a good look at it. How cool is that? Get some light on it for you. No, I hate to point stuff out. Look, it was still that's where that foil was bent right there. And guys, there's nothing you can do about that. You don't want to start sticking, you know, something in there trying to pick that up or whatever. You're gonna mess it up. So just deal with it. It's just part of the part of having an issue. But man, that card was so. I'm show you in the light. It was so bent up. All I, I got it down to those two little bumps. But you know what? That stretch was so severe, or that hit was so severe, it made that stretch. So that's just, uh, that's it. The front is more challenging, but we got that down to just a little dot. So, like, overall, man, like, super cool card. And it was beat up pretty good. But we did a fantastic job on it. Got it down to a little couple dots over there. Back to a pretty strong edge. PSA 10s are worth so much money because they're hard to, hard to find. Not every card's going to score up in that upper top tier. But when you have a, a card you love and a card that's awesome and has Kobe on it and his autograph on it, and if it had any damage like that, man, you definitely want to take care of it. So I'm happy with it. These are fun. I like doing projects like that. Front looks pretty darn good. It, it's like not as eye-catching or tacky, you know. I mean, that was the first thing that caught my eye over there. And then on the back, obviously, was a mess. But I'm cool with that. Looks good to me. But thank you guys for coming along with me on this one. Hope it helps you. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care.